The spy ship was spotted one day after National Security Advisor Michael Flynn submitted his resignation to President Trump only three weeks after only three weeks in office. Flynn was under fire after evidence surfaced that he misled the White House about his phone conversations with Russian officials. General Michael Flynn is out as National Security Advisor after admitting he gave incomplete information about a phone call he had with Russia's ambassador to the U.S. prior to President Trump taking office. Flynn reportedly was caught on U.S. surveillance talking about U.S. sanctions against Russia with the ambassador. But he told Vice President Mike Pence he didn't discuss the topic. The level of trust between the president and General Flynn had eroded to the point where he felt he had to make a change. The Justice Department first warned the White House on January 26th that Flynn had misled the White House about the phone calls. But Flynn was allowed to remain in his job until last night. The president was informed of this. He asked the White House counsel to review the situation. The first matter was whether there was a legal issue. And we had to review that whether there was a legal issue, which the White House counsel concluded there was not. Democrats are calling for a full investigation into what exactly General Flynn said to the Russian ambassador and why it took the president a month to fire General Flynn. We want to know by what authority did General Flynn have these conversations and who did he report to after that? I think it's likely that General Flynn will be at some point asked to come and talk to the committee about both post-election uh, uh, activities and any other activities that he would be aware of. President Trump responded on Twitter saying the real story here is why there are so many illegal leaks coming out of Washington. General Keith Kellogg has been named acting national security advisor but is considered a placeholder and not a contender. Retired Vice Admiral Robert Hayward and former CIA Director David Petraeus are considered the leading contenders. 